Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today we're going to be talking about gear mesh. Gear mesh is one of the most important things that you can do to set your helicopter up correctly. If it's too loose, you run the chance of stripping out the gears. And if it's too tight, not only do you run the chance of melting the gears, but it also draws a lot more current to keep that gear spinning. Now as you can see right here, I've got approximately a tenth of a millimeter. Don't let this picture fool you. I've got it zoomed in pretty far. But I've got approximately a tenth of a millimeter. Now some people say that we can use a regular sheet of paper to set our gear mesh and it'll set it perfect every time. I'm going to debunk that myth and we're going to set it up just like that right now. Alright, as you can see, I've got the motor pushed forward and what we're going to do is we're going to feed a piece of paper in through here and then we're going to push our motor all the way back against it making sure the paper is riding even with the main gear. So according to what they say to do on the internet is we'll just push this up on there and then tighten the bolts down. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what they say to do is just spin the main gear to take the paper out. As you can see, I've got a perfect accordion effect on the paper. They say this right here is how you know you got the perfect gear mesh. Well guess what? That gear mesh is way too tight and I didn't push that hard. I mean I can't move that thing at all. Guys, this paper will not tell you if you have the right gear mesh. Just because you can get an accordion effect does not mean that you're getting a good gear mesh. Set it up by hand, do it the right way the first time, and your batteries, your motor, and your main gears will thank you. So let's set this up correctly. Alright, as you can see, I've got the bolts loose, as you can see by me turning them right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the motor all the way against the main gear, and then we're just going to pull it back just a hair, and then tighten it down. Now only tighten one of them right now. Go in and check your gear mesh. As you can see, I've got a little bit of play in that gear. Great. So let's go over here, and let's tighten this one down. Alright, I got that second one tightened down, and as you can see, there's just a very little bit of play in that. It doesn't get no more perfect than that. If you can get that little of a gap, it's perfect. But make sure you spin this thing around and you check every single spot. So we'll check it right here. That's got a little play in it. Check it here. That's got some play. So what you'll do is you'll keep going around and you'll keep checking the play on multiple places on that main gear. Also, make sure you go through and you click that motor one time and then check it. Click it again and then check it. What that's going to do is it's going to make sure that the pinion is centered on the motor shaft and the pinion is not actually too big for the shaft. So guys, do yourself a favor. Throw that paper method away. Like I said, the accordion effect who cares? So you can make a piece of paper look like an accordion. It's not going to set your gear mesh correctly. Set it up by hand just like I did here. Check it at multiple points around the main gear and then check each individual pop on that motor to check and make sure that pinion is centered on that shaft. Guys, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in a video, come over to the forum and post up. If you have any questions on how to set your gear mesh or anything else on these helicopters, again, Come over to the forum, post up, and we'll be happy to help you guys out. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.